Welcome to my channel. This is today's episode of Daily News Clips. But before I get to that, I have to thank you for the support you give to my channel and for coming here and watching my videos and for all the wonderful things you say about me. It's, it's just amazing to me. It's absolutely amazing. So thank you very much. I have a few items on the agenda today. The first one is Gaza, Truths Behind All the Lies. <clears throat> if you're not familiar with Victor Davis Hanson, he is a history professor who is quite intelligent and quite knowledgeable about history, especially ancient history. And he writes often very lengthy articles about subjects of, of uh, interest to current events. And this one he's written about what's going on between Gaza, between Hamas and Israel. And I highlighted a couple of things in here that I thought were significant. The first one is Israel risks the lives of its soldiers to prevent civilian deaths. Hamas risks the, li risks the lives of its civilians to prevent terrorist deaths. I think that one sentence neatly sums up exactly what's going on over there. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, I couldn't have done it any, said it any better myself. And then he talks about foreign aid and he says the American administration promises to give more aid to Gaza after the October 7th Hamas massacres than it gave to Gaza before the Hamas attack. Now I understand that people are concerned about the civilians in Gaza who are in a terrible situation and they should be concerned about them and we should be doing everything we can to help them. But you have to wonder what message does it send when the administration gives more aid to Gaza after they massacre Israelis than they gave to them before. So that's the first story. The second story is canceled comedian Matt Reif books two Netflix specials after media fails to re-educate him over offensive jokes. If you're not familiar with Matt, Matt Reif, he's a young comedian. Uh, he is quite funny, and he is quite adept at doing live interaction with his audience. And sometimes he can be very risque, but that's what comedy is about. And of course, the uh, monitors, the censors who want to try and control our lives and tell us everything we can and can't do, want to shut Matt up because he's not saying the right things. But it's backfired and he now has two Netflix specials. So that's an interesting article to read. The third article is Dr. Jordan Vaughn, Long COVID, Long Vax, and the Iliac Vein podcast. Now, these last two items that I'm giving to you, they are lengthy. This, this, this one is about 45 minutes. <coughs> the next one I'm going to tell you about is about an hour and a half. So you're going to have to set aside some time if you really want to watch these. But I think they're worth watching. This one is a podcast by Cheryl Atkinson, and she talks with a doctor who has identified uh, problems with the iliac vein. Now, I, I'm not, I'm not very, my wife is a registered nurse, but I'm not very familiar with medicine at all. Uh, I just know, you know, what the average person knows. But I've recently become aware that there is a, a vein in your body called the iliac vein, both the left and the right and that can cause problems and what the doctor talks about is that and it's kind of an odd comparison but he compares the arterial system of your body to like the water system in a city it's always under pressure it's always pushing the water out and so when you open the tap water comes out because it's under pressure but the venous system of your body is like the sewer system. It's passive. There's nothing pushing fluids through the, through the uh, sewer system. There's nothing pushing fluids through the venous system. What makes the fluids in your body move around in the veins is physical activity. 
And so interestingly enough, some of these people that are suffering from long COVID are having problems with moving blood through their veins and they're having clots and those sorts of things, which can be very dangerous. And he talks about that and how his research and his work with patients uh, seems to be alleviating that problem. And finally, I have a documentary that's about an hour and a half long called Climate, the movie, The Cold Truth. And it's on YouTube and it's, I, I've watched the whole thing and I can tell you that it's, uh, it's a very interesting uh, documentary. They interview um, some of the top scientists in the field who all agree that the, uh, the climate change story is being exaggerated and blown up and it's not scientifically based. And so they talk about what their, their knowledge about uh, the sun and other uh, things that affect our, our climate and how those are much more important than CO2. And then they then the movie the documentary goes on to talk about how uh, funding for climate studies corrupts science because you actually had people in social science fields doing studies that doing research projects where they included language in their proposal to get a grant that mentioned the climate because they knew that if they did that they would get funding because they're just going to fund anything that has to do with the climate. And then towards the end of the documentary, it talks about the political ramifications, how it affects people in Africa, and how people in the Western worlds are beginning to rebel against this because they're realizing really what this is, is a move to impose authoritarian regimes across the world. So... It's very interesting. I enjoyed watching it. You might enjoy it too, so I thought I would mention it to you. So that's the news for today. I thank you for coming to my channel, and I pray for you every day. I pray that you will have an abundant life, that you will live a long time, that you'll be healthy, and that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray that he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I pray most of all that you will be anxious for nothing. But in all things, through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, you'll make your request known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out.